Hello everyone and welcome to today's Oxygen Live experience. My name is Alim Belu and as always I will be your host for uh, today's webinar, a uh, special uh, webinar because we will go further in our working with data in oxygen uh, series with uh, the episode called migrating to data and uh, refactoring. As a short intro for uh, today's event, uh, let me tell you that from our own experience, most companies do not start new database projects from scratch. They uh, already have the content written in various formats and they need that content converted to data. But once the content is uh, converted, there is still work to be done. It also needs to be refactored to follow the industry's best practices. And for this, to show you how this process can be made as simple as possible, I uh, invited today uh, my colleague Cosmin Duna, senior software developer at uh, Synchrosoft, the company that uh, produces the uh, oxygen suit of uh, products, to uh, shed some, uh, some uh, light um, on uh, some various topics such as how to use the batch documents converter and smart paste for converting content or uh, how to use the main file support for refactoring across the entire project. Now, I don't want to waste uh, any more time. So let me recap the useful information uh, that I uh, always mention at the beginning of our live events. All of our events are being recorded. So uh, today's uh, webinar makes no difference. After the webinar comes to an end, the recording will be made available on the event page on our site, oxygenxml.com, along with uh, Cosmin's uh, presentation slides and samples. And also the recording uh, can be found uh, tomorrow on our YouTube channel titled Oxygen XML. And uh, another important aspect is that as we go along, we always encourage you to ask us questions by using the questions panel from the GoToWebinar interface, where uh, our colleague Rad Koravu will assist us by answering to all of your questions in real time. So with this being said, let me uh, welcome to the vir virtual uh, stage, Cosmin Duna. Hi, Cosmin. Thanks, Aline, for the introduction. Hello everybody, thank you for being here. In today's webinar, I will continue the working with DITA in Oxygen webinar series. And I want to start by asking you a question. Have you ever struggled with migrating your documents to DITA? If the answer is yes, this presentation will be helpful for you. In my last years of work, I was, focus I was focused on adding and improving conversions in our product. So I'm going to present the tools from Oxygen that you can use for making the migration process much easier. Let's explore our agenda for today. We will discuss the, about the SmartPay support from Oxygen and about the Batch Documents Converter add-on. We will have some live demonstration with the migration process from Microsoft Word, Markdown, HTML, and Microsoft Excel. We will I will present you the refactoring actions that can be applied after the conversion and the dynamic converter support. So let's start with uh, SmartPaste. SmartPaste is a feature implemented in the author page that allows to copy content from various sources, including web pages and external applications such as office type application and paste it in Oxygen. When pasted content, into a data document. This is converted to the equivalent data markup, preserving certain styles and structure information. For example, if you copy content that includes multiple paragraphs and then paste it in author mode, the multiple paragraph structure is preserved. This also supports pasting in other document types like T, DocBook, JATS and XHTML, but today we will talk only about the migration to DITA. Smart Paste is useful when you are working on a DITA topic and you want to include fragments from other documents like HTML, Word or Excel. This feature also allows converting an entire document, 
by copying the whole content and pasting it into a selected data topic. And now, what about Batch Documents Converter? This is an add-on that can be installed in Oxygen for allowing batch conversion between multiple formats. For the supported formats, we can enumerate HTML to XHTML, DITA and DOCBOOK, Markdown to XHTML, DITA and DOCBOOK, Word to XHTML, DITA and DOCBOOK, and Excel to DITA. In this webinar, we will focus on conversions to DITA. The easiest way to install the add-on is by invoking the Batch Documents Converter action from the Tools menu. After the installation uh, is done, uh, you can find the conversion actions into the following menus. Batch Documents Converter from Tools menu, Batch Documents Converter in the Contextual menu from the Project view, Additional Conversions from the File Import menu, import from the append child, insert before and insert after submenus in the contextual menu from the data maps manager view. In migration process, batch documents converter is more efficient because it provides conversion to a data map with reference data topics and it supports converting multiple documents or directories with files. When converting Word, the document should be prepared for conversion. For best results, it has to be well structured using the word styles. So make sure you use the heading styles for defining sections in your document. The default styles are recommended to be used because the custom styles have to be configured into the word styles mapping option from the preferences page. If they are not, they will be converted into simple paragraphs. Now, let's move to the live demonstration. I prepare a Word document, which we are going to migrate to DITA. It's a document that contains multiple sections uh, separated by headings in different levels. It also contains a table, an equation, some lists, an image, uh, some index entries, footnotes and cross-references and external links. I will start by showing you the smart paste functionality. So let's imagine this situation. We have work on a document about salvia flower, this one, and one of my colleagues sent me a complex Word document about flowers that contains information inside it about salvia. What can I do to extract that content? For this, I select the, the content that I want to extract, copy it, and paste it in author page in Oxygen. That's all. You can see the formatting on the text was preserved. The image from the word was copied here, and even the footnote was migrated. Now, let's see how we can uh, migrate the entire flowers document. Um, so for this, we, we need to install the batch documents converter add-on. As I said before, um, the action for installing the add-on is placed in the Tools menu. Here we have to follow the installation procedure. Read the license, accept the terms, and click Install. After this, we have to restart to Oxygen to complete the installation. Now the add-on is installed and the conversion actions can be found in the batch documents converter from the tools menu, in additional conversions from file import, 
in the contextual menu from project view and in the contextual menu from data maps manager here we have one sub menu named import in the append child insert before and insert after sub menus and these actions from the data maps manager will automatically insert the resulted documents in the map before starting the conversion we have to prepare our word document by making sure that we use the styles for example this current preparation is just a simple paragraph with a big size we have to fix it because if you don't the converter will handle it as a paragraph so i'm going to apply a heading style on it this heading is formatted with uh, a custom style named my heading 2 is recommending to use the default styles as much as we can because the converter will not know the custom style if you don't add them in the configuration so i'm going to change uh, it to the default style but if this custom style is used in the whole document it will take some time to modify all the places so I have to add this style in the configuration. For this, I will open the preferences page of the add-on. And here we have an option named worst ties mapping that allows to map worst ties to HTML elements. The conversion of Word to data is made in multiple steps. First, the Word document is converted to HTML and after this the html is converted to data using this option we will configure the first step so we have to associate the my heading to style with an html element we can map uh, our custom style in the same way as the default heading to so i will add a mapping for a word paragraph style with my heading to and this will be mapped to an h2 html element this fresh suffix means that the converter will create a new element each time it finds a paragraph style with my heading to if it's not set the converter will try to reuse the element and create a new one only when it's necessary now let's convert our document i go into my project and i invoke the word to data action from the contextual menu in the open conversion dialog we have a list of input files a field where we can set the output directory and the section with options the create data map uh, the create data maps from word documents containing multiple headings options allow to choose if the output will be a data topic or a data map when the option is checked the sections marked by title and heading styles will be extracted in separate data topics and these topics will be referenced into the output data map. Not all sections will be extracted as topics because the add-on has an option for setting a maximum level of heading, which the converter will process as data topic. This can be found in the preferences page of the add-on and is named maximum heading level for creating topics. The default value is five. So when the add-on finds a heading five, it will process it as a new data topic when it finds a heading six for example it will create a sections into the in, a section into the last created topic i will convert the document into a data map with this default value so i go again in my project and i invoke word to data and click convert As you can see, the hierarchy from the data map is the same as the one from the table of contents in the Word document.
the conversion preserves the table, the equation, the lists, the images, index entries and footnotes are still here and cross references and external links are valid. The Salvia topic contains two sections. Because these were styled with heading six into the Word document. And the maximum heading level for created topics is set to five by default in the preferences page. If you had set the option to six, this section would have been extracted as data topics files. Let's now move on to the next migration. I also prepared a live demonstration for migration from Markdown. So I created this document about car maintenance. So as I specified before, Sparkpace doesn't support Markdown, but Oxygen has this built-in editor and it contains a preview from where we can copy content and some converting actions. If I invoke this export as data topic, I will obtain a data topic like the one from the preview. For obtaining a data map, we can use Bash Documents Converter. So I go in the in the project view and I invoke Markdown to data. The conversion dialog contains an option like the one from the word to data named create data maps from Markdown documents containing multiple headings. When it's checked, we will obtain a data map with topics if we have multiple headings in the document. When it's not, we will obtain a data topic. The option from the, pre the, from the preferences page for controlling the maximum heading for creating topics is not applying to this conversion. Here, all sections will be processed as data topics. The conversion dialog has an additional option here named create short description elements. When it's checked, the add-on will create short description in topics using first paragraph after heading. Let's convert with this option unchecked because my paragraph after headings are not written as short description. We obtained a data map with topics that corresponds with headings from the Markdown document. We can see that the formatting on the text, the list and the table were preserved. Now, what about migration from HTML? I also prepare a live demonstration from this migration. Using SmartPaste, I can copy HTML content directly from the browser and paste it in a data topic. For example, we can copy this section from Wikipedia and paste it in our Salvia topic. A new section was created from the HTML content, the formatting on the text was preserved, and the image was converted. To show you how to migrate to a data map using Bash Documents Converter, I created this HTML document about a mobile phone. It contains multiple headings, some images, some lists and cross references. I will invoke the HTML to data action from the contextual menu. And as in the previous migration, we have an option for controlling if headings will be extracted in separate data topic files and referenced in an output data map. But now, uh, we we will convert with this uh, this option checked
the converter created a hierarchy of topics that corresponds with the headings from the original document. The images were copied into the, in the, into the output folder into an uh, images directory. And also the cross reference were converted and are valid. Now let's see how we can migrate a Microsoft Excel document. As in previous cases, we can use MarPaste uh, and we can copy tables or fragments of tables from Microsoft Excel and paste them directly in a data topic. I prepared these sample documents, document, and let's copy some table cells from, from it and paste them in a new data topic. You can see the table and its content were converted to data. The batch documents converter can process the whole document but cannot create a data map in this case. The result will be almost the same as the one from SmartPace, but it can be more useful because it can convert multiple files without copying and pasting them one by one. I will invoke the Excel to data action and I will convert the document and this is the result. Now, let's go back to our presentation slides and discuss about the, the processing after the conversion. Oxygen provides refactoring actions that can be used for organizing and customizing the resulted data documents to respect various data best practices. For example, in the project view, the move resource and rename resource action can be applied to data or non-data resources. In the data maps manager view, we can arrange the topics and nodes using the drag and drop support. We have refactoring actions for converting between data topic types. So if the resulting topics looks more like a data task or data concept, we can simply convert them using refactoring actions like convert to task, convert to concept and others. If you want to generate unique IDs for elements or change the IDs of the topics using the file names, you can use generate IDs or change topic ID to file name. If the resulting documents contain nested topics or sections, you can use convert nested topics to new topics or convert sections to new topics to extract new files. You can also extract topics from the map hierarchy in a new data map using the extract to new data map actions, the convert data map to bookmark and convert bookmark to data map actions allows converting between map and bookmark types. And if you want to convert links inside your documents from direct addressing to indirect key based addressing, you can use the define keys for all topic references action. Let's see how we can apply some of these actions on our documents resulted from word migration. In the result of the conversion, the topic files are in the same folder with the data map. Let's move them in a separate directory. First, we have to add our data map as a main file because we want to automatically update the references of the moved resources. For this, I will enable the main file supports and I will add the flowers data map to the main files. After this, we can move the topics one by one using the move resource refactoring action. 
here I will set the destination to a new directory named topics. And we can also move multiple uh, files using the drag and drop support. And as you can uh, observe, the references of the moved topics were automatically updated. It looks like some of the topics need to be renamed. So let's remove this flowers prefix from this file. I will invoke the rename resource refactoring action. and click rename. And the file was uh, renamed and the reference was updated. We can also rename non-data resources like images or even directories. So let's rename this uh, media directory in uh, images. And this image in Salvia. And the link to the image was automatically updated in the document. Also, when uh, you apply this action, make sure that the data map is set as main file because you don't want to broke the references. If we open the, the map in data maps manager, we can reorganize the topics in the hierarchy by simply dragging and dropping them. For example, we can move this pruning and garden preparation on the first level of the map. Now, let's see how we can convert between topic types. Uh, this garden preparation and pruning looks more like a data task. So let's convert them. For this, I will select the files in the Data Maps Manager and I will invoke the Convert to Task refactoring action. Here, make sure that selected references is set as scope and click Finish. And as you can uh, observe, uh, they are Data Tasks now. These uh, autumn flowers can be a data concept, so let's convert it to. This time I will uh, invoke the convert to concept action and click finish. And now this is a concept. If you need IDs on an uh, element, you can generate them. And for this, I will invoke the generate IDs action and this will add IDs on all elements from this list that doesn't have one. To apply the action on all files I will select current data map hierarchy and let's see the preview before applying the changes. Everything is as we expected, so let's click Finish. Let's move this uh, pruning and garden preparation back as children of care and preparation and extract it as a new data map. I will invoke extract to new data map action. Here I can choose the type of the map. I will select data map and click create. The new map was created and it contains the topics about care and preparation. Also, the new map was automatically referenced into the flowers map.
Now let's change the direct references to key references. For this, I call the summary factoring define keys for all topic references action. Here I check if the current data map hierarchy is set as scope and click preview. You can see that the action defines keys for all topic refs in the data map and specifies the target of the cross references using the keyref attribute. If you don't like the, the name of the key, you can change it to using the rename key action. And now let's move to the last subject from my presentation. The publishing engine from, Ox from Oxygen allows to dynamically convert various type, types of non-DITA resources to DITA while publishing. So you can, uh, can reference documents like Word or HTML directly in your map and you can publish them with your transformation scenario. To enable this support, you must specify one of the following values for the format attribute on the topic ref element. The values are Word to Dita, Excel to Dita, HTML to Dita, and Mardao to Dita. And let's see how we can uh, do this in Oxygen. So imagine the following situation. You have just finished migrating the Word document about flowers and a colleague asks you to include another small Word document into the flowers data map. This document. Our colleague doesn't know data and maybe he will make modification to this document in the future. The solution for this case is to use the dynamic converter by referencing the Word document with format Word to Data into the map. I will do this by invoking the reference action from the insert after submenu. Here I choose the Word file. And I also set the the word to data as format uh, attribute. Now we can publish our document. And the word document will be converted automatically to data and included in the publishing process. And this is the content from our uh, Word document in HTML, in a PDF, sorry. Well, this brings me to the end of my presentation. I provided some useful links for further information if you want to read more about the presented topics. Thank you for your attention. Now it's time for our Q&A section. So Radu, can you help us with the questions and answers from our users? Uh, hello, Cosmin, and hello, everybody. Cosmin, thanks for the great presentation. Uh, and for this complete overview of Oxygen Solutions when it comes to importing data, uh, importing content to data, and then to restructure the data content uh, after it has been uh, imported. Uh, before the questions, uh, one of our reasons for today's presentations is to find out what are the formats you will need us to support when converting to data. So um, the questions uh, box is still open. You can uh, You can type away and ask us or propose other formats that we could convert uh, in the future to, to data content. Or if you have uh, other XML refactoring actions that you would like us to approach, 
um, to restructure your data content in certain ways. Um, you can also ask us about that. So the first question is for, from Larry. Uh, does the copy-paste conversion work for Flare and FrameMaker content? Um, so the copy-paste works uh, uh, if the application, for example, Microsoft Word, sets uh, HTML flavored content in the clipboard when you copy. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Flare or, or FrameMaker, when you copy content in them, if they set HTML flavored content in the clipboard. If they do, then Oxygen Smart Paste will be able to take that HTML and interpret it as data. Otherwise, you'll probably need to convert Flare or FrameMaker content to HTML and then uh, uh, use our batch converter for HTML to data, for example. Or in the future, we could maybe uh, improve our batch converter to support migrating other formats to, to data. A question from Hans. Uh, does the webinar also address importing from PDF files, uh, editable PDFs, not uh, PDFs which uh, contain images inside, like some PDFs contain scanned images? Uh, unfortunately, our batch converter cannot handle uh, PDF files. Uh, if you find a third-party solution to convert PDF to HTML, then you can use our batch converter for HTML to data. Um, a remark from Franz Josef uh, would be a nice uh, would be nice to have a FrameMaker to data feature too. Uh, possibly, uh, uh, that's a possible improvement direction. Thanks. Uh, another remark, Medcap Flare project content is maintained in an HTML form. Any conversion steps to discover headings? If we were to create such a conversion from Flare to, to HTML or to data, uh, indeed we would need to look uh, what that HTML content contains and, and try to migrate it to data. For example, try to preserve the, the usable content. That would be an interesting thing because uh, other applications like Flare use their own ways of having reusable content. So we need to take that reusable content and convert it to a small data topic. Uh, question from Tim. Sometimes I want to generate an ID for a parent element, but not for the child elements. For example, I need an ID for a figure, but not for an image. Is there a way to generate an ID only for the parent element? Uh, I'm not sure if this is related to conversions, but uh, uh, if you select the figure in the oxygen outline and you right click, you should be able to create uh, to use our uh, action to, to create uh, a unique ID for, for that figure. Um, and um, from Antoine, many thanks for the presentation. Great features that will save me a lot of time. And this is the reason for the batch converter. Um, you may need to do some tinkering after the batch converter finishes the conversion, but it will, it saves you time. It saves you time to manually copy paste and uh, manually uh, update references and so on. Or if you want to use our dynamic conversions, you may end up with the data projects which have combined uh, data content and word content and markdown and so on. And uh, that content is preserved and edited in, in those formats and then uh, incorporated in, in, um, in a data map. Um, another question from Fonda Chu. Is there a way to convert from ASCII doc or restructured text to data? We don't have such a conversion, but uh, you can go from ASCII doc to HTML or to Markdown using Pandoc. Pandoc is a free uh, utility. Um, so you can use Pandoc from, uh, for ASCII doc to uh, Markdown or to HTML, and then use our converter from Markdown or HTML to, to Dita. I'm not sure if Pandoc supports restructured text. It, it might. 
So whenever you don't have a format uh, directly supported by our, our batch converter, you can try to migrate to HTML and then use our batch converter. Uh, question from Roger. Could you add the option for creating short descriptions to the word to data converter? I suggest using the first sentence of the first paragraph as a short description. So, Cosmin, I think the question is uh, related to the fact that for markdown to data, you, you have that checkbox, right? So, what do you think of this idea? It's, uh, do you consider it feasible for maybe for the future? Uh, yes, we can add uh, there too this option. Mm -hmm. We'll write it, it down as well. A uh, question from Andrew. Smartface is implemented since what version of Oxygen? Oh, it's been maybe more than five years. I don't know, five to, uh, five to eight years or so. I, I do not know the exact version. It's been along for, for quite a long time. Uh, maybe Oxygen 17, 18 or something. Can it be configured to insert custom XML content to data and then the opposite action, insert data content into XML file? So the SmartPace was configured, uh, was uh, created to, to insert, uh, to convert, to dynamically convert HTML content to data. So if you have custom XML content and you can get it to to convert it to HTML, then you could use our batch converter. Otherwise, uh, you could create your own custom action and perform the conversion yourself. About it, inserted data content into XML, uh, this is not covered by the batch converter. Uh, we would need to find out more about the use case, about that. It looks like more like a publishing solution. You take the data content and then maybe publish it uh, in, uh, embedded in, in some other file. Uh, another question from Quick. Can Excel be imported on the fly, like Excel to data? And uh, Cosmin, I think that the answer is yes, right? You can refer to the Excel directly in, in the data map. Uh, uh, no, uh, the conversion from Excel to data does not support uh, conversion to a data map. We can convert uh, only in a data topic. No, but uh, if if I'm in a data map and I refer to the Excel, it, it becomes some kind of like a topic when I'm converting it, uh, when I'm publishing to HTML. Yes, yes. Uh, the dynamic converter also supports Excel to data. Uh, we have to add the Excel to data format on the reference. Right. A uh, question from team refactoring, but I'm not sure what the question is. Larry, in what version of Oxygen did you in introduce the batch con documents converter? Hmm. Do you have any idea, Cosmin? Is it 20.1 or older? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we have to check on the... Uh, GitHub page of the batch document converter. Batch documents converter. Oxygen. Uh, not this one and this one. Uh, uh, so for the first release of the of the uh, convert. Uh, this, this support version uh, 20 of Oxygen. Mm -hmm. So it's compatible with uh, Oxygen version 20 or newer. And do you remember what, in what Oxygen version you, you started working on the Oxygen co add-on converter? Uh, I think 20. 20 mm -hmm. is also the, the version when we start. Question, uh, uh, remark from John, will be we are recording be, be available? And he also thanks you for the presentation. Yes, we always uh, record these webinars and uh, we'll have them available on our YouTube videos page, on the Oxygen XML YouTube videos page. Uh, Alan says, great presentation. Does SmartPace work with PowerPoint presentation? That's interesting. Have you got a chance, uh, Cosmin, to test with PowerPoint? Copy-paste from PowerPoint? 
it depends if PowerPoint sets an HTML flavor in the clipboard, and we it may work or it may not work. Uh, I don't think we ha we tested it uh, with, with PowerPoint before, but you, you can also test this, Alan, and tell us. Uh, question from Tony. Recently, I had to convert LaTeX files to Tita. I had to convert LaTeX to DocX, and then uh, the Pandoc code shown below. In uh, in XML editor, I used the batch converter work to Dita, and uh, this saved the day. Okay, so this was a remark from Tony. Indeed, Tony uh, had to first convert the Pandoc file, the the LaTeX file, to some other format that the Oxygen batch converter can interpret, and he chose uh, Microsoft Word. I think he could have chosen plain HTML uh, also. So Quick says, so have a table in the data map with format equal Excel to data, and that's correct. And also Quick says that the batch converter was around also in uh, Oxygen 19.0, it's possible. Uh, Andrew said thank you, and so say Tony and John. Um, also, thanks for uh, all, all your questions, and uh, maybe your questions gave, gave us some interesting uh, future improvement directions for our batch converter to support other formats as well. Um, and um, this concludes, I think, our Q&A presentation. If you have uh, other uh, questions for us, uh, we'll be happy to handle them also after the webinar. Thanks, Cosmin, and uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, back to Aline. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Radu, for assisting us today with the question and uh, answer section. And of course, a uh, big thank you um, for uh, to Cosmin for uh, the amount of uh, information that he shared with us uh, today. I will uh, take back control quickly. Okay, um, for uh, the people that uh, might uh, have joined us uh, a little bit uh, later into uh, Cosmin's uh, presentation, I uh, want to remind you that um, uh, today's event recording will be available uh, tomorrow on the same event page that you uh, used to uh, register, along with uh, Cosmin's uh, slides and uh, samples. And of course, if you uh, still have uh, questions regarding uh, today's event, you can use the Oxygen Feedback uh, platform integrated in the in the event page. As you can see, I think uh, Cosmin actually answered uh, one of our uh, uh, users. And uh, you can uh, provide us uh, feedback or follow up uh, questions after you uh, rewatch uh, his uh, presentation. Now, uh, let, me, um, let me move further uh, and uh, tell you a little bit about uh, the last event that we have uh, planned for, uh, for uh, you until uh, the end of this year. Um, in, uh, in two weeks' time, we will, um, we will uh, meet again. And uh, this time on uh, December 8th, Alex uh, Gitianu development lead and uh, data evangelist will um, will uh, hold uh, uh, maybe the most um, uh, the most uh, awaited uh, live webinar and uh, it's called add-ons you can use for technical uh, writing a lot of uh, people asked for uh, this uh, presentation and uh, let me tell you that uh, this event uh, will aim to take a deeper look at uh, some of the most popular add-ons that are available and uh, at the types of benefits that they provide, how uh, easy it is to uh, install them, as well as offering some ideas for how they can be integrated into your particular authoring workflow. And uh, the add-ons that will be featured in this uh, webinar include the, the Git client add-on, the Dita outgoing references add-on, the term terminology checker, the translator helper, and the writer helper add-on. So. Uh, be sure to um, to uh, join this uh, live uh, event. 
as always, uh, registration is, uh, is free. And of course, more details on uh, the upcoming uh, events that we uh, will, uh, we will uh, be uh, scheduling them for uh, next year will be available at, um, uh, on our uh, events program page. So we um, uh, came to the uh, end of uh, today's presentation. Let me thank uh, again Cosmin and, uh, and uh, Arad for their uh, participation. And of course, the biggest um, of the thank yous is, uh, is uh, geared toward, uh, toward you, uh, the uh, audience, for uh, joining us again um, to another Oxygen uh, Live uh, experience. So, uh, let me uh, thank you and uh, tell you all bye-bye uh, and uh, hope you will uh, stay safe. So, uh, good day or uh, good evening. Bye-bye.